Hi, it's me again, and I don't like to quit, but I can't do this. The bending and the stretching is too much. So watering is going to have to wait. I had to think about it. I mean, they, there's people go off on holidays and their orchids have to just manage. So these are just going to have to manage. I can't even just the plants on the higher shelves, just the stretching to the back of the shelf and trying to lift down mounts and everything, it's not working. So it's on hold. But what I have done is ordered a decent sprayer with a proper lance and a trigger that holds a reasonable amount of water. And I'm going to change the way I water for a bit, while, only while I've got warm weather, because um, obviously if I'm going to water into the top of the pots, at the moment I've got drip trays and they're there for a reason. They're to stop water dripping on the plants below. But if I'm going to water that way, the plants don't get chance to drain. So I'm going to remove the drip trays. Now in the warmer weather, I've been going round spraying the whole lot, the, the plants, you know, the tops of the pots and everything. And water is getting on the plants. Well, this time of year, it doesn't matter. I won't be able to do that in the winter. I'm not, I'm not having wet plants when the temperatures are low, especially at night. But during this time of year, you know, if necessary, the thermostat on the fans can come down a bit so that they kick on at a lower temperature, get that air moving, give them a, give them a blow dry, basically. But yeah, for a while, don't know for how long, I'm going to have a go at working that way because with a long lance I can get to every single pot with minimal bending, shall we say, and lifting and moving. Downside is my plants won't be getting that close inspection unless I pick them up. And if they're at the back of the shelf, things could be lurking on them and I'm going to miss them. So it's a catch-22 thing. But the times my back have pl has played up before, I know it well. I mean, I've been living with it since I was 20, so I've had a lot of practice with it. And occasionally it twinges, and occasionally it's quite achy. But when it goes like this, where it's actually painful in anything other than sitting dead still or standing upright, I can walk about, I'm fine standing up, and I'm fine once I get comfortable sitting down and lying in bed, that's all comfortable. But everything that involves changing from one of those positions to another actually is hurting a lot. And when something hurts, it's telling you to stop doing it. So I'm going to stop doing it until it gets better, because when it has one of these spells, it, it, can, it can last a week or more. And, you know, it just knocks me for six. It stops me doing stuff. So the more rest it gets, hopefully the shorter the little um, bout of uh, annoyance can go away. But um, thanks for all your well wishes and stuff. It's an injury. It just flares up now and again. You know, I'll still be here tomorrow, <laughs> probably moaning about it. But I thought, I'd, I'd forgotten to say, my daughter's down for the weekend. Um, so I've, I've got two long drives to do as I've got two traveling days and at the moment one of those is Saturday the other one will either be late on Sunday or during Monday that's undecided yet um, and also it's the Orchid Society meeting tomorrow evening Friday evening so uh, so yeah I've got some things going on that would stop me filming and um, doing stuff anyway so that's just a sort of forewarning but I thought I'd post this one I've never had to give up on watering before. Um, I mean, I've had the odd twinge since I've had this grow room and before on the, you know, when I was growing on windowsills and the table and I've always just put up with it. But today I'm, I'm quitting. Um, I'm actually gonna get myself comfortable, perhaps watch a film or fall asleep in front of the news <laughs> or something. But yeah, standing up and walking about's okay. Um, but I think probably the best position to be in is a nice comfy chair with a nice support cushion on my back. So we'll give it a go and um, I'll see how I get on. But uh, yeah, it's just too uncomfortable. Even bending over slightly, it, it's just uncomfortable to the point of, I think I'll just quit. Um, 
as I say, people go away on holidays for a week at a time and their plants manage, you know. And okay, there might be a bit of dehydration and um, might be some droopy leaves or something or other, but they'll pop, they'll pop back again. And um, I've still got my little sprayer, so like I can still go round the mounts on a regular basis. There's no substitute for a proper soaking, and I can't do that with the little sprayer I've got. But they'll get some hydration, you know. And today it's a dull day, we've had a bit of rain, um, so there's not a lot of temperature in here. It's just around 22, um, so I don't want to get plants wet today as such. Fans are off because the temperature's too low. Big fans, I mean, the little ones are on. Um, but yeah, you know, if we if we get a brighter day tomorrow, then I've still got my little sprayer to go round with, just to keep things ticking over. That's all I can do with that sprayer. Um, the fact that it's got no lance or anything, I'm having to point and aim from some distance away for some of the plants near the backs of the shelves, and half of that water is missing the pot anyway, so it's, it's not ideal, but it'll do for now. It's better than no water at all, which is the alternative at the moment. So uh, I'll see you next time and get back to some sort of normality. Um, yeah, it's just awkward at the moment, so uh, we'll see how we go. I'll see you next time.